Hello everybody, David here, and welcome back to episode 3, Boeing, <laughs> of the new hospital build. You gotta do occasionally slam jumps. Slam jumps are really fun. Um, <clears throat> so, in this episode... I'm going to be doing all of the floors, which there are a lot, off screen, um, mostly because they're going to be dull as heck watching them. I might, I could alternate colours and then you could see them sort of each layer a different colour, but if I can't figure out a way of making it interesting, I'll, um, I'll just do it off camera. I want to put the roof on, so floors and roof, all horizontal. You know, most important things in builds. Um, I also need to fix uh, this thing, this bit. Um, I found a video that shows what the space looks like, and I've done it completely wrong. So um, <laughs> I will uh, uh, fix stuff. It is kind of cool having like an internal garden, but. Um, uh, I'm going to try where possible to be close to the original. If there is time um, after floors and roofs and I don't know, middles I guess this counts as a middle um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping um, and try and figure out what is in these big gaps. I know underneath this gap is a car parking facility um, but these two I am not sure about so I have to figure it out I may also uh, try and remember my uh, my clone commands and open up a land game and uh, lift the floor lift the uh, grass <clears throat> so I don't have to do it manually because I uh, not prepared to do it manually but it'll have to come all the way around this frame to about here I think about here or is it here it's one of these sticky outy bits on this end where it goes back down again to, to street level so um, because it, the, 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 this, is, this road was stopped about where um, it starts to rise up the hill and then <clears throat> once I've got all the the uh, landscaping done I'll have to meld it with this landscaping so I'm pretty sure this is higher uh, So there's that height, and I run really fast, or fly really fast. <clears throat> yeah, this one's taller, so it doesn't have to. I'll have to meld a little bit, but not not terribly. But that's only if I have time, and the spoons, because uh, spring has started, so and my body's starting to work a bit more. <laughs> not a lot more but a bit enough to be hopeful that I might be able to also do the landscaping although that'll mostly be kind of um, copying boxes of grass to different heights so that might not be very interesting to watch um, so this build is coming along pretty well it's a lot faster than I expected I mean I kind of expected like three episodes, but when I finally actually figured out the size, I figured it would take a lot more, um, and we're almost halfway, which is good. I, I'm i assuming, I, I may be uh, taught by Murphy, aka Loki, um, that I'm wrong, but I'm assuming that the straight, the not diagonal sections will be a little bit easier, other than the front bit, which is uh, a curve. Which needs to be curvier, but I can do that later. The rest of it's all straight lines, so it should 
I hope, I'm crossing my fingers, both mentally and physically. Um, it should be easier than all of this. This is why I started with the hard part, the diagonal. I started with the hard part because it's easier to get the hard stuff done first. And then, you know, the easy stuff is extra easy because it's like, yeah, this wasn't as hard as the diagonal. <clears throat> but I'm uh, somewhat mumbling. So we shall go to the part. I actually kind of like. Ooh, actually, that's a good view. It's an interesting view. Looking straight up at you. <laughs> Wish me luck. And cue the music. Hello and welcome back. This uh, helicopter pad is huge. Although, if I tried to make a helicopter to scale, it it would be very difficult in Minecraft. <laughs> this uh, project is a lot bigger than I uh, imagined. But the roof is on. I left that there because it looks like it's all right. I didn't do uh, this bit here. I hadn't got to it. But the roof is done. My, my brain tells me that this, my muse I should say, tells me that this section here needs some more texturing. But concrete looks really boring. It's just monotone. But um. The, uh, the sunroof looks really cool on the top. It actually looks even better from the inside. Now, I, I did some of the inside. And when I say some, I mean a lot. But I couldn't... Um, 
the replay mod camera uh, has very limitations about its mo very a lot of limitations about its motion, and inside is just not it's not possible to film without going through walls all the time. And I don't know about you, but I find them really I find it very distracting and kind of disorienting for the camera to go through a wall. So I try to avoid it as much as possible, and I, I just couldn't. Um, but it looks really cool. I did all the the walls on both sides. And this area in real life is these cafes here. There's tables. Um, this hallway actually goes all the way to the end. to the, Through the entirety of the building. I'm not sure if there's a window here, but um, there's actually a sunroof the whole way through. So it's probably the lightest area of... I guess the lightest area of the middle of the building. Um, so as, as you can see, we're only halfway through. Not even halfway through. But um, it's a big building. It's half a K-square. So, you know, it's okay. Um, I had a lot of trouble getting scale right because some of the levels are on different levels. Like, like this one. <laughs> Um, and they had to interact in a way that seemed realistic. I put in, um, there's quite a few of these uh, platforms that link this side with this side. Obviously I haven't done all the floors because that would take forever. Um, I'll be doing that off camera with an audiobook. <laughs> But um, I connected all of the the walls, turned them into glass and, and stuff. Opened out spaces. Tried to light them minimally. This is kind of cool. Wee! Little extra thingy from bottom floor to second floor. Or ground floor to sec first floor. Mm. Those two systems confuse me. And this is a big hallway that runs this way through the building. Again, I haven't done this lot because it's just way too much. Um, <clears throat> little shops. And linked this area this it was very hard to link this area to the um, to the wing building because the these are I think five one two three four yeah five including the floor but these are four one two three four including the the ceiling so when making the connecting stairwell it couldn't be a standard shape i had to change it at every level because um none of the levels matched well one of the levels match see that that's where the level the floor is in the next building so you have to go up a second level to get into it so it was a little fiddly to do that it took a while I couldn't film it. it it's too, too close quarters. I did try with the glass and the mall part in here. But, um, yeah, same problem. But I really like it. And um, this is an entrance. So you can actually, like, just walk through the front door. And there you go. I think I need to do more texturing. There's way too much white. Like it's it's almost hard to notice this crosswalk because it's uh, white. So I might be changing the color scheme a little. And um, even though in real life this side at the top is white and this side at the top is dark, it sort of looks crooked visually in the game so I might actually just balance it out um, there was a lot of scale problems which is why I had to change where the floors were 
um, and had to extend the steps to go into this area and um, yeah and then steps up to get to this area <laughs> there was a lot of faffing about but um, I like it I like it <clears throat> I think this should be like a whole entertainment area because um, to get the outsides to fit the insides this bit had to be here and this bit here so they look a bit like stages like performance stages lecturers I think there are actually um, lectures there's a lecture hall in one of these these buildings with the at the front with the black stone I think it's the other one the second one over there um, so this could be like an entire entertainment area but I really I really like I like it so far even if the scales are a little bit out and little details that aren't correct irritate me um, I, I am you know the artist is never happy so I have to remember that that's normal to be irritated with the imperfections I also I actually genuinely dislike builds on on the diagonal um, you know calculations and scale and everything aside um, it just it looks maybe it's my synesthesia um, but it looks pointy it just it looks pointy and that looks smooth and soft so I don't know maybe I'm just me <laughs> but um, <clears throat> it, it's, it's done now I'm not going to redo it <laughs> way too much work um, so I'm really happy with this um, now I'm going to go outside and then I'm going to take you to somewhere else and show you the next or well, semi next project so this is the build from the university build it's a cafe that I, I still haven't finished but um, it's based on a, a cafe at university where I used to um, drink coffee and well actually it was probably drinking Red Bull and, and wrote in a corner so it's sort of a fairly nice vibe I like this place even though it's not a part of the actual um, University of London campus college University College campus so this this is a stage I kind of made it tried to look like a stage like a TV stage even though it's obviously still got walls um, for interviews so I've had this idea for a really long time in fact pretty much from the start of this channel to basically animate my stories in Minecraft like make movies in Minecraft and I, it, there's been a lot of technical problems and it's really hard to find um, a copyright free sort of background sounds like the sounds of traffic traffic and gunshot sounds and um, oh my gosh trying to find the sound of you know when a traffic light goes buzz and tells you to walk it's so hard to find that um, and I wanted to use the New Zealand one not the American one because it adds a little an, enough alienness for the American readers i.e. viewers <clears throat> and it was so hard to find and so I've been searching for copyright free sound because I don't have the, the gear to go and record it myself and I think I'm gonna start I'm almost ready I've got the stage ready and um, I'm not sure other than extra lighting um, it, I think it's ready I may even actually do like little rigs pretending to be cameras because there's going to be a camera kind of hairish to look at Asha's face and there'll need to be a camera kind of hairish or even like over here for my character um, I'll have to record all of the voices and uh, modify the voices because um, my voice is a little bit too low for Asha but 
the next interviewee will probably be Talon, so it needs to be a little deeper. Um, so I'm going to attempt to teach myself how to do voice modification on um, Audiology. Oh, sorry, Audacity. My brain keeps changing the words. Um, and actually do character interviews. I've got old interviews from my old Patreon, my writing Patreon. So I'm going to modify them and turn them into a script. Um, not a proper script write, writing script. I, I don't know all of those conventions, but I enough for me to read um, in an entertaining way, hopefully, and then modify my voice and film it. Um, my character, my, this person who's pretending to be me, the narrator, um, won't change, but I might have a few scenes, scene cuts where, uh, Asha gets up off the couch because she tends to be a pacer. So I might end up actually getting her skin on a character, uh, on a, on a, an account and actually having her pacing, talking about whatever, um, I don't even know if you're allowed to pace in TV interviews, but what I want to do is try and get this done to, uh, to post next time. And I, I'm not stopping the hospital. I'm going to do the interview next time. And then the time after that, the, another hospital update, and then hopefully maybe another interview or the first scene of Rise of Hawk audiobook movie. We'll see. I've got a couple more sounds that I have to find for the audiobook movie. Um, background sounds. Um, and then we'll see. I'm, I'm only trying it now because we've just hit spring here in New Zealand and my body is finally um, working again. So we'll see what happens. Um, so this is the hope for next week. If I can't pull it off, uh, if I get another cough so I can't do the voice recording again, I'll um, I'll go back to the hospital because it's okay if, if my voice is a bit scratchy on the hospital recording. But um, until then, I hope you have a good fortnight or 10 days or whatever my target was supposed to be. And Aranitasa.